Yeah my people welcome back to another vlog So I'm going to take you from Port Moran to out at the borderline at Portland in this video Showing you where the different realignments are going to be taking place And I have to say it's a lot of work being done this side man The Chinese are doing a lot of work You can see some of the stuff happening in the preview just a while ago but when you reach around those areas you're gonna see all of that work some places are completely unrecognizable i'm sure persons from that side going back towards golden grove who know the area well when they see this video they're saying wait i saw your salute now you know can't believe their eyes similar to when them they cut out the highway out at Grand Spin, same reaction the mugger get. But just stay tuned and watch our corn as we head towards Bowden going to Golden Grove. So now we are going to enter back the main road going towards Portland and as in the previous video coming from Morant Bay to Port Morant if you remember you have some sections where in the road there are markings there to indicate where the center of the road is it's the same with this section so if you look in the middle of the road you can have to look extra careful though you're gonna see pegs in the road with some yellow tape on it see like those yes you have to look out very keenly for them so on my left is a swamp going right around on my right is the sea on the right hand side is where the Bowden Arbor is located and even though they have the road markings it's kind of confusing in some sense because some of the time the markings are going towards where the sea is I know that if they are going to carry the road over to there it would be in the sea and sometimes coming over to where the swamp is so I'm not too sure about what is happening there but I guess we can give them like a month or so when they start to push off some of these sides of the road so they can get a better indication of what is going to happen along this section but for now we just have to wait and see even though you're not seeing it i can tell you so on the left we still have swamp on the right now we have swamp then the sea so you know you have the road swamp and then the sea just to give you an idea of what it looks like from overhead and if you have been looking at the road you would see that the markings are going more over to the right along this section so we're going to pass a bridge in a little bit along this section i think they are going to raise it because when it rains and the swamp comes up it normally covers the road so i think they are going to raise it and install some sort of water system to help control the water along this section
Yeah. And where's Ferro Delgo? Uh, yeah, that's it. Is that center? Can we take a walk by this? Come to us a little the cross like. Alright, thank you. Alright, thank you. So in a minute or so, you're going to start to see a lot of work being done like they're tearing down the hillsides to realign this section just as we reach Marta River. And this is the part of the journey I was referring to at the beginning of the video, seeing that it would be completely unrecognizable to a lot of persons who came from this side but are overseas. And here it is now, starting from right here, you see a lot of work being done. I didn't even know that there was a river right here until today when I was doing this video. I know that like how they know the river is there, they're going to do 
river training right here because they don't want that the road to be fixed and then the river comes and erode it and cause problem from here going around it looks like they're going to put the road more towards the left hand side because over on the right hand side there is a big gully and they are tearing down the left hand side so i think they're going to carry the road more over to the left to take it off that gully Down there, so just a come from you now. See it there? You can see clarity way down there, so. Mm -hmm. And tear off all of that hillside, just where we are coming from. And I'm gonna come round, see? Oh, a little bit over here, so. Tomorrow! <laughs> ah! Mm. DJ Fire Chin, this one. Chin! Pick up yourself. Yes, come on. Stay here. Alright. Yeah, man. Where's the jelly? <laughs> Wait. Oh! Jelly in a tree, they want this one. <laughs> you can't reach in there. Then they look like a kill yourself story. <laughs> By cliffside. So they have one trench or something over here so from way back when. Mm -hmm. So as I can see, they might put the road more to over here so on my right going back towards Mark B and left hand side going back towards Portland because if they carry it over on the right hand side now you know it's going to go over into the gully so they are going to carry it over here on the left hand side but we will continue our journey going towards Audley Crossing remember to just stay tuned and watch our boy
if you remember from previous videos that I did this area leading into Golden Grove town is normally flooded when rain is falling very heavily so you know that they would have to lift this section to ensure that there isn't any flooding of the road and it seems to be like they're going to widen it a little bit or they're going to install a drainage system over on the right hand side We are now leaving Golden Grove Town and heading towards Ardley Crossing where most of the flooding occurs along this section of the road improvement project in St. Thomas. So as we go along on the left hand side you will see that they have pushed off some of the area and deepened the water channels that are there.
so from here going back around to where Amityal is is always flooded when the planting garden river comes down so you know they have to deepen the channels I'm not sure I think they should do a concrete system as the water will flow a lot better with the concrete system instead of leaving it like dirt because I know when it's dirt it tends to be overgrown by vegetation also I think they should lift this road a bit just to be in line with the bridge that is behind me Now we are at early crossing and out here is where the base for the Chinese is currently located for the ones that are working on this section of the road improvement project. You can see them over there on the left hand side. So now we're leaving early crossing and heading towards Amity Hall. Along this section is another part that is always flooded when the rain is falling heavily due to a river that is over on the left hand side which comes across the road just in front of us. So I see that they are making some big culverts to control the water along this section and they are going to raise the road level a bit in some sections i don't know exactly where and where they are going to do it as yet but in the future i will give an update on that as to when i get the understanding of what is going on and here's the river right there and for persons wondering what is those buildings on the left it's a part of an old hospital that was here for the sugarcane workers also the people that lived in golden grove and hampton court
so on the left hand side there covered by a little sheet you can see the drain I can see that it's high up from where we are currently driving as you go along you're gonna see where the holes are for the drain so you know that the road is going to be lifted in this section quite a bit
you, bro. I'm going to cut here so man and then try to run good down there so Yeah. River down there? Yeah. <laughs> we with a uh, marine pine that now. Mm -hmm. Which way the lighthouse there again? Round more. Oh, see there, what my carrier is zooming in there, right between here, so I can swallow. Look at, look at that speed. Mm hmm. But we are continuing our journey going back to the Portland border. So stay tuned and watch what are going.
so this is all I have for you guys today if you enjoyed the video please remember to like leave your comments on your thoughts about what you see today also you can share it with your family and friends so they can see what is happening in St. Thomas and if you haven't already please subscribe you can subscribe it's free and also to click the notification bell to get notified when I upload a new video that's it for now thanks for watching and see you in the next one